how to get pregnant naturally welcome to my page share this video drop your prayer request in the comment section recommend rate this page because this is educational page where people come to learn and before we dive into the topic of today which is how can one get pregnant naturally i would like to put a disclaimer that myself though she i am not a medical practitioner i am not an expert i am a researcher everything that i'm teaching here is based on the research that i have concluded so if you have any other issue question please visit your doctor your physician your gynecologist your fertility expert and again this page is not in any way trying to mislead we are here to educate after conducting already concluded research by researchers please facebook take note of this so a lot of people do ask me this question they say ma please what can we do or how can one become pregnant naturally is it possible of course it's not every woman it's not everybody that literally needs medical support before you can become pregnant if you are okay if you are not sick will you go to the hospital of course no if you are not sick will you take any medication of course no so people who need attention who need help are people who have one or two things that needs to be addressed so in terms of asking me if one can become pregnant naturally or how can you yes there are little things according to the researches that i have conducted that you can do on your own that will facilitate that will help you to you know become pregnant with art that is i don't know i want you people to understand me i don't want to sound as if i'm trying to mislead no i like people to understand what i'm saying so i said yes you can when you do not have any issue when you do not have any medical challenge when you do not have anything that needs to be addressed then of course you can but in a situation whereby you need you have something that is preventing you from becoming pregnant that thing must be addressed before you can become pregnant but some women once they make out they become pregnant so now what are those things First of all, you as a woman that is trying to become pregnant, do you know your length? Do you know your circle? This is the question you should ask yourself. These are the things that you can do on your own that your physician, your fertility experts will not come and sit down and start calculating C, D. You need to figure this out by yourself. Go to Facebook. There are several videos about how to calculate those things, how to know. Then when you study that, that is the number one step. That is the number one, you know, preparation of trying to carry belly you must i've been saying this a lot of people do not understand me i don't know which other language i'm going to use to pass this information but i'm sure that i'm trying as much as i can to be using the language that any layman watching me right now will understand what i am talking about if you are a woman trying to get pregnant the first step is you must know your circle length then when you know this it will help you to figure out when you are likely going to release an egg ovula so if you do not know your length you are just like somebody who is lost at the middle of the road for example let's say you are walking in a direction and there is a particular direction that you have to take to reach where you are supposed to do then you get to a junction or roundabout where there is four roads one goes like this the other one goes like this the other one goes like this because you do not know the actual direction that you are supposed to follow when you get there you'll be at the middle you will say i don't know if i'm to follow this i don't know if i should take this by this time you are lost so if you are watching me right now you don't know how to calculate your length you are lost when you come to trying to get pregnant so but there is no problem 
Yes, we all learn by studying, by making research. What I'm teaching you right now, nobody sat me down to teach me. But rather, I teach myself because I am conducting research that has been concluded by experts, by fertility experts. When I study them, then I come here to impart knowledge on you. You yourself can also do the same thing. Yeah, as long as you can read. You can go and conduct research, find out what can I do, what are those things, how do I know my destiny. You will see series of videos, write-ups, read. We don't like watching something that will impact our life. So, the number one is this, know your length. When you know your length, this will help you to figure out what the core fertile window. These are the most important days in your life circle these fertile windows is the days when your body is ready to carry baby this is when your body is ready to carry something there so now knowing your circle after that you know your fertile windows like i said before the days your body is ready when you know this then you start making that with your organ Make out with your organ during your fertile window at least once a day. Then during your fertile windows, make out every other day. That is, if you do today, tomorrow you will not do. Because often, making out often will make your organ semen day low. And also, if you don't make out again, if you not jollificate with your organ, it will also make in water. Uh, yakwata in water no go be able to you know bab the distance so i don't know if you understand the main cocoa here is you knowing your length knowing when your fertile window is and also jollificating you know say some people they do they say they don't want jollificate they, they wait for the ovular day and these people that is waiting for the ovular day they don't even know the day where they go over. And as you they wait, your girl water they stay there. If they examine say kaput, the water they spoil. So, did you learn anything? Come on, tell me. Did you? If you do, or you share this video now, drop your comments constructively in the comment section. And also, subscribe to support us. Before I leave you, I would like to put another disclaimer that myself... I am not a medical practitioner. I am not an expert. I am a researcher. I study and I teach. Thank you for your understanding. Bye-bye.